ஐம் ஸ்ரீம் ஹ்ரீம் சரஸ்வதி தேவியை நம திஸ் இஸ் த ஃபஸ்ட் டைம் ஐம் கமிங் டு கிளீவ்லேண்ட் ஐ லவ் யூ ஸோ மச் மை மதர்லி எஃபெக்ஷன் அண்ட் பிளஸ்ஸிங்ஸ் டு ஆல் ஆஃப் யூ தே வில் கெட் மோர் மெமரி பவர் மோர் ஃபோக்கஸிங் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் மிஸ் ஃபோக்கஸிங் தே ஆர் டிஸ்டர்பிங் டுவர்ட்ஸ் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் திங்ஸ் It is a rare day when you meet someone who lives in peace and unconditional love for everyone. Those who meet Amma Sri Karunamai walk away inspired for life. Amma receives all with the same universal mother's love that she showed even as a child growing up in India. Before her birth in 1958, it was prophesied to Amma's mother by the great Saint Ramana Maharshi that Amma would be someone who would uplift humanity. This interview was recorded in Cleveland, Ohio. on June 9th, 2009. Amma Shri Karunamai, welcome to the city of Cleveland. Welcome to Ohio today. I would like to ask you, what is the most important lesson or message you bring to the people of Cleveland on this day? Thank you so much for inviting me for this beautiful program and also to the Cleveland city. The total world is one family. total world is one family so that's why we need to live in this world together with one heart beat with one love so we can bring love to meditation through meditation and we can live together with eternal peace in this world why is it so hard for people to realize that we are all one that we are all just one family this is kaliyuga the nature of kaliyuga is more pollution selfishness so that's why people mind is little bit in confusion of the maya maya is nothing but the limitation towards the mortal frame just loving only the external body when we love more the supreme self then we will able to love everybody in the entire world we are able to see truth god in all the living beings so that is the real love we need to elevate towards that highest peak of the cosmic love and you mentioned maya you mentioned illusion and i was going to ask this later on but i'll ask it now because it seems so fitting it's such a difficult concept for most people to understand are you saying that this is an illusion and that love is all there is there are so many stages in the spiritual life when we are always um limited towards our mind and body that is called the samanya level samanya sthiti that is the common level in the common level people are just thinking about only themselves eating their own food they just only limited themselves towards the external life only when people are in spirituality elevated themselves towards the little bit of highest consciousness level then shreshta manava state comes in their life shreshta manava means greater life in the greater life spiritual attributes are blossom in the greater state spiritual attributes means kindness compassion equal vision inner wisdom selflessness love service true devotion uh, without anticipate anything from anybody helping others this kind of great natures are blossom inside by their spirituality when people are more growing inside in spirituality then they will attain divya manava state divya manava means the divinity divinity is within everybody every living being is born with that divine supreme self divinity is within everybody only but to realize that divinity people need meditation spiritual practices then the divine state comes in the mind when the divine consciousness comes then they are in that absolute divine level from that level also 
when they are growing more and more enter into the kingdom of wisdom they will experience aham brahmasmi i myself is brahman i myself is consciousness i myself is absolute i myself is indestructible power i myself is divisionless independent truth silence so these are the levels so when we are in the first level of the common uh, just in the common level people doesn't able to understand the highest peak of god is in all living beings everything is god they can't understand this when we grow towards all these spiritual levels attain the highest consciousness of the samadhi state then only people are able to see god in all the living beings it sounds like what you're saying is that when a person chooses the life to become spiritual it is not a static equation it is evolving constantly it's sort of like being in school and you never get out of school you continue to choose to grow spiritually all the time is that what you're saying that when we're on this path we move through the stages of illusion into the stages of self-awareness and the self-consciousness uh, as we continue our studies spirituality never comes by just studying the scriptures people are born with that inclination so the seed of spirituality is within themselves so wherever they may born in any clear away the debris regarding